Hello dear researchers, I hope you are doing great. Uh, if you are looking for how to analyze Likert scale questionnaire or survey like this one uh, using chi-square test, this tutorial is going to answer all your questions and show you the exact way or ways of analyzing Likert scale data and interpreting the results uh, using Spaces in Microsoft Office Word. Uh, so I would like to explain to you some uh, things before I start the analysis. So this questionnaire consists of some Likert scales uh, or Likert scale items the, that are five point that is the range from strongly disagree to strongly agree. And uh, I want to analyze not only each statement independently like this with the, some sociodemographic variables let's say gender and age and teaching experience etc but we want to analyze the whole Likert scale i mean all the uh, the you know the items within this first uh, Likert scale for instance about the regular assignment of homework uh, with all the seven or six items together so this is the issue but if we want just to analyze one item this is very let's say straightforward we can do it uh, quickly just by going to analyze uh, descriptive stats, uh, cross tabs, click cross tabs, and then we can uh, move the item that we want to analyze uh, in the row section and the other one, let's say the age or teaching experience, let's take age and put it here and go to statistics and check chi-square and click continue we can even display cluster bar charts and click ok and wait for the analysis so this is the first method this is in case you want to analyze one item and then you can take this data and report it using microsoft office word as you can see here visually speaking the age group from 21 to 30 uh, strongly agree with uh, the the fact that uh, practice what what has been taught in class is you know frequent or regularly done whatever and so this is the, the first way the, the second way and this is the very important step and I think few studies have not reported this issue because there is this controversy on whether or not to consider Likert scale continuous scale but anyway we are going to do it here so I want to, I need to combine first, I need to combine all these variables into one variable. So these are questions or items of Likert scale. I want to combine them into one variable and give it a title, let's say regular assignment. So I want to have just one, this variable, like one variable like this one, assignment, regular assignments of homework, whatever. I have done this, let's say, procedure, and I have explained on this on many videos. But if you want to see, uh, I just you can go to uh, let's say transform compute variable and go here and look for statistical, uh, then mean and move the mean, and then start checking the items that correspond to the first scale, and remember to keep putting commas. Uh, after each, uh, let's say, item till you finish. I'm not going to delve into this because I have already explained this. I can attach a video on how you can do this uh, in the description box or the command section. Because I have already done it, I'm not going to redo it. Anyway, now I get the the overall mean scores of the the Likert scale, the first Likert scale the second and the third depending because i have three uh, let's say Likert scales okay uh, if we go and look at them we find them this way okay so the, the the Likert scale now has been turned into continuous data so this is how it looks like on the data view anyway the next step once we get the mean score of Likert scale items, the next step is that we need to turn this variable from a continuous uh, scale into a categorical scale that, or rather categorical variable that consists of uh, strongly disagree to, you know, and strongly agree, etc. So how can we do this? There is this technique of uh, transform and 
recode into different variables so i choose this uh, option and i want this okay so i'm just going to reset this so I want, let's say, this scale about uh, regular assignment of homework. We want to see whether or not there is any association between, let's say, age and the regular assignment of homework. So I'm going to choose this one and move it here. I can, of course, choose many, but I just I need to choose one and then give it a name. Let's put it for, you know, regular assignment of homework, R A H, and the label here. I can write the full name but but for the sake of simplicity i can just keep the same so i go to old and new values and check them or click on them and go to a uh, range or low a uh, range lows throw value so i am going to share with you this reference so this is the range that we are going to use to reduce the whole variable into categorical variable so i'm going to tick this uh, value and put it here okay and choose this uh, from the new value i choose one check one and click add so now all the values from 0 to 1.8 will be turned into one okay so this is how this function works it's about old value and new values okay let's just do the same till we finish so i'm going to check the second one copy it go to spaces then i'm going to choose this one range and i put the range 181 to 260 okay next i'm going to do this paste and choose two and click add now all variables or all uh, mean scores from 1.81 uh, to 2.60 will be turned into 2 then we go to uh, the next values 261 and I'm going to put it here 261 till 3.40 so this is for five point Likert scale but if you have other uh, types of scales i'm going to attach another link for you in the description box or in the command section so try to check that depending on your scores or your um, rather the, the, you know Likert scale you will get some values that will be suitable or appropriate for your case so anyway so i'm going just to continue 3.41 I'm going to put it then we have uh, 420 so it's a manual process a little bit it takes time and put here 4 and click add and the last one is as follows i'm going to put 4.21 but this time i'm not going to choose this range so i'm going to choose the range value through highest so this means that from this one till the other will be uh, considered as five and click add okay and continue so now what happens is that a new variable has been created so i should just click change so that it's like uh, it can be displayed here and i click ok and it will be uh, created so here we have recode and it tells us the ranges just to make sure of them in this output and then when we go to the variable view we are going to, to find a new variable uh, with its label and here we need to code this so I need to code it so I already have the coding so I'm not going to type it again what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to copy this and paste it here then if we go and check we will find that this new variable uh, has been transformed into a categorical variable okay so it was continuous and now 
it has become a categorical variable now we can perform a chi-square tests on this variable and the, the demographic variable so now we go to analyze descriptive stats descriptives or not rather not descriptives uh, descriptive stats it's rather cross tabs and then i need to put age in the column and the regular assignment so i'm going to change it into this new variable here and in the statistics i'm going to choose chi square if i want to choose candles tau beer whatever but i'm not going to need them here i can choose what i want to have in the output from these uh, options i can check even display cluster clusters bar charts to see this visually so i'm going to click ok and here it is so here is the uh, let's say the output so let's see it visually we can see that people whose age ranges from 31 to 40 strongly agree uh, that homework should be assigned regularly so this is like the finding for this uh, question using a chi-square test and this uh, applies to the whole items or set of items within the scale not only to one item okay so the, i hope this video has explained your questions or rather has uh, removed your doubts so if if it does please do not forget to subscribe or and put some comments just to encourage me and i'm going to keep the files all the files on the description box below and even in the pinned uh, section or of the comments and see you in another video bye for now